Ever since I began with the wild pageant here, a girl has to make her money some sort of way. So I figured this window, this lovely window here, reminds me of the Red Light District of Amsterdam. So I guess I was used to the world's oldest profession. Jumbo White Tranny, 75 cents a pound. Come and get it. Come and get it. Anybody? You, sir? Hello? I do it all. <laughs> Oral, anal, facial, GFE. Yes, I party. 75 cents a pound. Nobody? Welcome to the w view. view. It's Penis Tuesday. Every day is Penis Tuesday. <laughs> no, today is Penis Tuesday. We're going to talk about penises. Although somebody pointed out that the celebrity penis expert will not join us today for our discussion. Oh, well, where, well, where is he? He's in Germany. Oh, yeah. What's he doing there? Well, he's German, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's funny, he has like a weird Asian accent. No, he's, he talks like Wolfgang Puck. Like how? Wolfgang Puck. Oh. You know, the celebrity chef. Mm -hmm. Almost, that sounded a little similar. Stay tuned to find out if anyone at CNN knows what a penis looks like, because we don't think they do. <laughs> we want to talk about this guy who cut his penis off, the rapper. Remember the rapper? He cut his penis off the rapper. No, the rapper. Oh. What's his name? Man We're calling Cut him his rapper off the penis. We're calling him Mangled Tip. <laughs> what, it, what is his name? I don't know. Ra Dick, Dick Cutter off a rapper. So, I'm how high do you have to be to cut your penis off? I'm sure I don't know. Well, he's going to tell us. Yeah. And I'm going to just turn this around for our live audience because... I mean, what did, I, did, you, you, did you cut your penis off? I mean, you know, I did. I fucked up, my nigga, in a lot of ways. But at the same time, I didn't cut my penis off. You shit, I get more pussy than Laura Lowe. I probably get more pussy than you now. But, you know, I did cut a lot of my penis off due to the fact that it's not a myth that black men do. Got to, you know, I'm not going to really go into too much. You cut off part of the party. We, got, we, we hanging, so I'm still able to work with what I'm able to work with, and, you know, and get it down, you know? Okay, the way so, it goes. so the story is that you cut it off and they reattached it. Yeah, they, they, I, 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 you know, the, the reattachment shit is all mythological. The myth of the reattached penis. So, just mm -hmm. to summarize, he <laughs> was really high <laughs> on PCP. He cut his penis off, but it's really, you know, it really but long, it's really so. long. So, even though he cut some of it off, he still has lots to work with. <laughs> and he gets more pussy than a lot of other people. And faggots. I think more pussy than those other faggots. And if you... We're wondering whether he reattached his penis. He did not reattach it. It's all mythological. But he was high on PCP, and I was just wondering, you know, I've never been that high that I wanted to do something like you that. You know, the, the, the highest I've ever been was one night at Tunnel where I got lost. Um, but I was still in my right mind enough to know that I was in Tunnel and that I could think. But I just couldn't, you know, figure out where I was. And that was the highest I think I've ever been. Um, and I, I did not want to cut my penis off. Um, I just wanted to find out where I was. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So from mangle tip to cute well, wait a minute, what about you? <laughs> well, um, I've never been that high that I wanted to jump off a building. No, that I, you know, that's, cut my penis that's off. Logical. I don't think anybody uh, ever really. I mean, actually, I don't think they. Well, some people what, might get high and just stumble off a building. You know, you don't. Yeah. But like. I mean, I've never been that high that I've decided to like walk a tight rope on the yeah. edge of a building. No, but I could definitely see me being so high that I accidentally fall off a building or like, you know. I don't even think I've ever fallen downstairs at a club as high as I Oh, been. boy. Have you? My, did you see my knee? Yes. That was from, but that wasn't from back in the day. No, no. Yes, no. <laughs> you were perfectly sober. <laughs> well, I, so from mangle tip to Q-tip, we really 
We really like uh, the Chemical Brothers' oh, new know. song, uh, which has Q-Tip in it. It's really fun. We think that it's a uh, going to be a big club hit. You know. Mm -hmm. Well, the video I don't think is that great. It's just a bunch it's of. It's a little daft pucky now that I think about it. Like get yeah. lucky up on that, get lucky. Yeah, really. um, well, they're channeling. They're channeling the 80s and 90s. Not a lot how, of many, how many club songs are there, t electronic club songs called Go? There's, a lot. Yeah, right? Go find another title for your song. I mean, I, li I like the disco EDM sound. Yeah. I mean, it is very We like it too. We'll be right back. And now a word from our sponsor. Hi, everybody. My name is Rebecca. Welcome to Alligmar. We have here a bunch of t-shirts, wristbands, lithographs, magnets, keychains, everything you could possibly want and everything you could use for multiple purposes too. These magnets, they can be used to cut lines of flour for your baking um, or to insufflate your pharmaceuticals. Take a look everybody. Come see us down here at 201 Allen Street or online. Buy our products, bitches. <laughs> Welcome back. You've got she mail. Ooh. Oh, you got she mail already. Oh yeah. <laughs> the breakup she mail. Her name is Adrian. No. <laughs> Fabian. <laughs> he, he broke up with you and you don't even know his name? I remember her name. Adrian. <laughs> Fabian. Fabian. Adrian. Yeah. Yeah. Fabian. Fabian. So we were wondering whether anybody at CNN knows what a penis, a dildo, yes, we were or a butt that. plug <laughs> looks like. Because if you all recall, there was that whole thing about the ISIS flag at the gay pride parade where they reported that somebody, some gay marches were waving the ISIS, ISIS flag. Oh, mighty and, ISIS, 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 ISIS. And instead, it was actually like dildos and penises, and they just didn't get it. And when Michael went to see it, and he says everybody there is gay. Yeah. So I can't believe, what kind of gay people are there? They don't know what they're a butt like, plug looks straight, like. They're straight gay people. They're like gay people from, from like Atlanta. Are there gay people out there that don't know what a butt plug looks like? I mean, really? I think those kind of gay people don't. They're like straight people. <laughs> that, that's not possible. Especially mm. in the Midwest, if you're all by yourself, that's when you'd need a butt plug even more. Um, a butt plug or a dildo? There I were. Mean, I guess you use them for the There same were clearly thing. butt plugs and the sh you know the shapes of butt plugs on the flag, in addition to dildos. In addition to dildos. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't know. Butt plugs in addition to dildos. <laughs> I'm thinking that it's the type of environment where they're so smart, they know who the president of, you know, whatever, Kyrgyzstan <laughs> is, but they don't know what a butt plug looks like. That could be true, but they are, they are definitely those kinds of conservative, uh, what do they call them, or Lincoln Log Republicans or something? Oh, yeah, Log Cabin. Log Cabin Republicans. At CNN? Yes. I don't think the Republicans would say that any Republicans work at CNN. They're log cabin Republicans. Okay. The Republicans don't consider the log cabin Republicans. No, they're, that's they're, true. They're, they're rhinos, all right. right? They all work at CNN. Re Republicans in name only. Or, yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Bitches want to know. What do they want to know? Don Summer. Don Summers wants to know if you would mar are you are ever married. Would it, I am married. Yeah, I'm married to okay. Igor. Yeah. Yes, he is. I um. I well, have, Michael was almost married to Fabian, but he broke up with yeah, him on I Facebook. Been, I would have been married. I would have been married with children. Um, I have. I mean, no, I, I no, I never thought about getting the wedding's I off. Mean, I was actually glad that we didn't have to get married. Now you know. Now that everyone can do it, who now, wants it? Well, I didn't want it before, but now that we can do it, I suppose I'm going to have to. But um, I don't, I don't, I'm not really, you know, it doesn't really mean anything to me. Well, Michael's single again, I mean, so either start you lining love, up. Either you love somebody or you don't. I mean, if a piece of paper isn't going to, you know, if you need a piece of paper to like, to make, to keep somebody with you. It's then, validation, yeah. Stamp of approval. From who, though? Whose stamp of approval? From the government. Well. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Good. Friday. Still here. Anybody? 
jumbo white tranny, 19 cents a pound, 5 cents a pound, nobody, God, I'm going to be here forever. I got a cheeseburger, 20 bucks, and a whole pack of marbles. You know what? What? All right, let's go. Condoms, lube. Oh, I don't need the lube. Condoms, yeah.